Roughly 1,600 special needs kids attend the Children's Institute. Most of them come for rehabilitation, but a good chunk attend the day school. But the budget impasse has forced the Institute to borrow millions of dollars just to keep the day school open. There you go, baby. 15-year-old Amber Buffalini was born 10 weeks premature. She battles cerebral palsy and developmental disabilities. She relies heavily on the Children's Institute for physical, speech, and social group therapy. So when the Institute sent parents a letter that those services could be in jeopardy if a state budget isn't passed, frustration set in. These kids have so many difficulties with things that you and I and most people have no difficulty at all with. I'm frustrated because they do not realize the impact of their decisions or lack of decisions can make on the quality of life for our special kids. I think it's gone on far too long and, and I think it's completely um, irresponsible for the legislators to have allowed it to go on this long. Dave Miles is the CEO of the nonprofit social services organization. He says they had to borrow five million dollars to keep operations going without a state budget and be forced to pay back the interest. The interest on that money, that's, that's what we're going to have to pay as an organization. So uh, the state's not going to reimburse us uh, for the interest on that. But state legislators representing Squirrel Hill say a new budget may be only days away. We're very cognizant of the concerns that have been raised about not having a spending plan in place, but we remain confident that we'll have something done very, very soon. State Representative Dom Costa, representing Squirrel Hill, tells Pittsburgh's Action News 4, quote, I really feel for them. We're on the verge of an agreement that will work for both sides. I hope we learned our lesson. And Amber Buffalini hopes they have too. Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.